So it was empowering to be able to just speak without any rules or restrictions put behind me and also directing my anger towards the shooter. Um, but, you know, finding th this outcome, I hope he goes to the general population and then it will be what it will be. But this process is one more step in our healing process. What went through your, what emotion went through you? You know, we've been censored for a very long time. And we've been holding in our anger through the process. And with every twist and turn and uh, game that gets played and uh, defense uh, lawyers with middle fingers coming up and unprofessional, unprofessional behavior, all of this just continues to, to fuel the anger. And at the end of the day, we need to continue, we need to move forward. So this was huge for us to be able to say what we wanted to say without a filter on it and close the chapter. And as my wife said, prison justice will come. about hard, making it hard for, for us I think you know it, it's angering and it's frustrating that they're allowed to get away with that personally I would have liked to see uh, consequences come to them too because we expect them to to be more professional and we expect them to show empathy and we heard today that they lost their uh, humaneness in throughout all of this the humanity through all of this I think it was important to call out. It's time that we give a voice to those that didn't have one. My daughter does not have a voice, but now she has our voice because it was silence. And we're just not going to stand for the injustice and we're going to keep fighting for it. For me, I respected the process and expected that there would be a level of professionalism and what we saw there was not that level of professionalism in this process that I expected. No. Unfortunately, he has antisocial personality disorder. So remorse is not in that vocabulary. And frankly, I knew that coming in. I didn't care. I'm going to say what I had to say. And I felt that everyone probably will. But it was about me getting off my chest what I needed and not about him because I know he'll never give, he'll never give remorse. But as I said, Prison justice will come. I can't help but seeing that smile in her face. What do you tell her? I tell her I'm sorry. I'm sorry that she went to school that day for Valentine's Day. I'm sorry what happened to her. And then we're going to keep fighting for her. And we're going to let her name be known all around the world. No one is going to forget Alyssa Allegaff.